wanted to uh, bring you another travel tip, if you will. And, and I, I talked about Google Flights as a way to really get a sense of pricing on where you might want to go or what week day or what day of the week might make most sense from an economic standpoint. There's another travel site, though, uh, that is similar to what travel agents use. And I'm just going to show that to you. It's called matrix.itasoftware.com. So matrix dot ita software.com and here's what it is it gives you this matrix and here's what i love about it if i'm trying to piece together multiple segments for a flight or maybe even fly into the city uh, early morning do a meeting through the course of the day and then fly into my next location this is the site that i've been using and it's incredible for that so let me just give you an example so i'm going to choose multiple cities and let's say that i've got to go from uh, madison which is where i live to Minneapolis, which is where the regional office for my company is. And let's just say it's uh, it's a Thursday. Let's just choose May 18th as an example. And I can say, you know, that day only, plus or minus a day. I can choose preferred time. And so a lot of times what I'll do is I'll do first thing in the morning because then I can get there early and then do a meeting. And then let's say I'm going to go on to Phoenix, uh, so PHX, uh, later that day. Um, and so I'll just choose the same date and I'll put my... Uh, my preferred time at the end of the day. So that lets me go do a meeting, spend a couple hours working on uh, meetings, that kind of thing. And then let's just add one more. So I'm going to add another flight and then it'll have bring me home from Phoenix to Madison. And let's just say I'm going to go out there for a long weekend. So I'm back on Sunday. So that's it. So I just set up the, the search this way. And then if I go ahead, I can actually also choose, you know, cheapest available, premium economy, first class, business class, uh, number of stops, you know, you can limit those or no limit. Um, I just like to see what comes up at first and I might, I might filter that down and uh, allow airport changes, which might mean if I'm going into New York, I can fly into JFK and I leave uh, out of LaGuardia. So if I don't want that, I'd shut it off. I know th this route fairly well and I, that doesn't happen there. Yet, if you go to the cities that have multiple airports, you'll want to look at that, i.e., uh, Washington, D.C., because it'll book you out of Baltimore, it'll book you out of uh, DCA, or it could be out of, um, uh, that's Washington National, and I forget what the third one is, which is way out in the middle of nowhere. So, so that's just it. So just something to look at. So let's just hit search. And now it's going to be looking for the flights themselves. Um, and again, I can pick and choose. I can actually narrow down airlines if I you know, wanted to build loyalty up on one, or I can just go for the cheapest flight. So it takes a little while because it's searching all the flights available. And, and look at this. I've got for this multiple leg flight, it looks like I can do it as, for as low as 498 round trip on Delta. Uh, leaves at 6.40 a.m. on the 18th. Gets into Minneapolis at 7.44, which gives me a whole day to do meetings and then go on to my next uh, city if I chose. So let's just pick that. I'll show you what it looks like as we walk through the, the uh, choices here. So again, it's searching now Minneapolis to Phoenix later in the day. And it looks like there's a 10, 10 p.m. flight for the 498. I'm not sure I want to get in that late. So why don't we do the 556, $535, still staying on Delta. So I'm building up uh, my frequent flyer miles there, which is uh, one of the things I'm constantly focused on. And then coming back on that Sunday, if I left at 7 a.m., get home at 2.30, it's 535 round trip. Um, and it tells me where it's going through. It's a five-hour flight, that kind of thing. You can also, um, you know, I could uh, sort by duration. If I just click this little down arrow and say I want the, um, I want the fastest flight. So if I hit that, hit sort by duration, it's going to come back with not necessarily the cheapest. It's going to show me the fastest route. And there's one that leaves at 421 that Sunday, gets in 1113, and it's four hours and 52 minutes with a connection in Minneapolis. Or there's a 915 a.m. that's five hours. It gets me in at 431. It's a little more expensive. So I'm going to go back and sort by price because I like that better because <laughs> I'm a little flexible on Sundays. And so let's just see what we've got. So again, if I left at 7 a.m., 535 round trip and what that allows me to do is do an over uh, stop over in Minneapolis get a full day of work in there and then here's the only catch to this is you can't book directly from here so what I do is I'll screen capture all of this because this is the, uh, the all the flight information and then I'll either go right to the airlines website and I'll book it or I'll call my travel agent and I'll say here's the itinerary I want here's the price uh, that it was showing me and they can book it for me. So that's the uh, ITA Matrix software. Again, really flexible, great way, especially if you want to if you want to uh, break up segments so that you can do uh, meetings in multiple cities. And again, it's Matrix 
M-A-T-R-I-X dot I-T-A software dot com. So that's my travel tip for uh, for now. Uh, happy traveling. I love to do it. I'll, I'll share anything I learn with you if I can give you cost-saving uh, ideas. And uh, thanks for watching this.